this is perfect. You can't see the car from the road. Is all this really necessary? Well, honey, it wouldn't be if your mom hadn't shanghaied you all the way to London. She's getting ready to move you again, wasn't she? Well, see, Danny, Danny, if I hadn't done this, she would have taken me somewhere else and I wouldn't be able to find you. She, she's forcing me to do this. It's because she loves you, Danny. Mother will do whatever she has to to protect her children. I'm sorry, how do you know my parents? Well, I actually have a, a long history, Danny. I was married to your mother's... History's a little overrated, though, isn't it, Blair? You were married to my mother's... A boyfriend. Married to your mother's... Yeah, married to your mother's boyfriend. You know what? I don't know what you're looking for a car out here. I mean, the next dealership is 30 miles away. Hey, Danny, remember when we used to film rides down to Tehupu, catch the surf? Those are great waves, weren't they? The greatest. You think you can work your magic thumb here? Are you kidding me? I don't know if you've noticed, but this isn't Tahiti, Ross. You're gonna let your teenage daughter stand on the side of the road and hitchhike. I'm watching my teenage daughter, and if you so much as hint to her that she's not my teenage daughter, I'm gonna cause some damage. You got that, Blair? Yes. I got it loud and clear. You know what? We both know the truth, though, don't we? I bet Todd knows the truth, too. Yeah, I could see it in his eyes in the parking garage, and I bet you you could hear it in his voice when he was warning you not to hurt I'm not Danny. I'm afraid of Todd. Well, I tell you what, you should be, and you better pray that the cops get here before he does, because we both know how far Todd Manning will go to keep his children. When I um, when I left Ross and um, put Daniela in boarding school, I um. I figured I'd never go back to Tahiti, so I took everything that mattered, and everything that mattered was my daughter. <laughs> Our daughter. Um. Oh. <laughs> this was the first and last time Daniela ever wore pink. <laughs> Yeah, here. Oh, yeah. Mom, you're going to love this. Read that. Danielle is extremely bright, but she can sometimes be intolerant of students who are not up to her level. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah. When I was away from her, this is, this is all I had of her. And, and I'm glad to <coughs> have it now. A poem by Danny, seven years old. My mommy is so pretty. My mommy is so smart. My mommy is the one I'll always love with all my heart. <laughs> hey, Bo. What are you doing here? Well, Nora and I uh, are here to take Matthew home, and we're worried, too. You know, the situation with uh, Rayburn's daughter and Blair. And... Will you be helping with the search? I told Matthew I'd get him an update. I can't make any promises. I'll give you an update. These, these idiots don't know their assets from deep center field. Well, man, you're not an easy man to want to help. <laughs> and listen, I know that I'm, I'm certainly not the first person you'd like to help, and Taya probably the second to last person. But, you know, we're talking about this young girl and Blair, so if you could. Oh, we're begging you. Okay, well, let me talk to the chief and see what I can do. Thanks for stopping. Hey, lady, what are you doing out here by yourself? Are you in some kind of trouble? Teenagers! <laughs> when aren't they in trouble? Listen, thanks for stopping, man. Uh, we've got some car trouble. You didn't correct Bo when he called Danny Ross's daughter. Well, Danny shouldn't be the last person to find out she's my kid. I'm gonna tell myself and Bo Ridge is back safe as well. 
The chief says they'll give me everything they've got. Uh, they think that Rayburn's headed to the Canadian border. He's trying to evade U.S. jurisdiction. Guess we better find them before they cross it. It's nice to know there's one good person left in the world. They can give us a lift. Wow. Did you really hate me that much? I don't know. I just hated what you and Dad did. Oh, yeah. Well, you might have been a tad overprotective. Mom, you two kidnapped me. You were way too overprotective. Yeah, that wasn't good, was it? I'm sorry. It's just the thought of losing you. That's the scariest time in my life. You were scared of me dying, and I, I was scared I'd never walk again. I just think we all went a little nuts. Okay. <laughs> and I think that's why you and Dad kissed that night. What? I'm sorry I threatened to use that against you. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, you know, we were just... Well, nuts. But I think I figured it out. What? What? Me and Danny, we got so close because of the way we felt about our mothers. And you and Dad got closer because the way you felt about me. And that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Clint. Hi. Hi. I have a few minutes, so I thought I'd check in. How's Matthew? I'm with him right now. And he's waving at you. With his feet. <laughs> Next to your voice, that's, a, that's the best thing I've heard all day. Yeah, and Dr. Evans says that he's ready to come home now. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll have Nigel make all the arrangements. Um, well, actually, we're not going to be coming home right away. Uh, Matthew would like to stay until he knows that Danny and Blair are safe. Oh, so you and Bo are both going to stay there a little while longer? Of course I mean it. If you and Bo need to stay there a little longer, that's fine. You're sure? Yeah, I think it's great that uh, Matthew wants to make sure his friend is okay. I'm proud of him for that. Nora, do what you need to do. Okay, thank you. Uh, how's Natalie holding up? Well, I haven't seen her since this morning. She was cleaning out Jared's desk. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, it's pretty rough, but she's going to get through this. Uh, look, I have to go, all right? But listen, I hope uh, Matthew's friend gets home soon. Me too. Because that way, my family will get back soon, too. I love you, Nora. I love you, too. Are you okay? Hmm? What? Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Just, I know that I've come between you and Uncle Clint. Oh, honey, no, it's not you. Then what is it? It's nothing. Clint and I are fine. Look, I'll admit, at first, I wasn't okay with you being with Uncle Clint and stuff. But now, I really am cool with it. And plus, if it wasn't for Uncle Clint finding Dr. Evans, I wouldn't be able to do this. <gasps> oh, my God, look at you! <laughs> That's even better than last time. Mom, are you crying? I'm not crying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just... I'm just so happy to have my baby back. Oh, gosh. I can only imagine what Taya's going through.